we'll continue with our project three, and after that, we'll finish, and we'll have some exercises which you need to practice. So I'll just finish with the project three by adding the plates to the top areas. So I'll be opening the project two which we have created. So you have to add the plates to the top areas. So I'll go to right click and go to structure diagram and just tick fill plates. And I'll go to the add four noted plates. And in a sequential fashion, you can create this. And once you create this, you just understand that what about the distance between these two point. So this is four meter. So I'll go to right click, select crusher plate, and I'll go to translate and the transfer direction is x direction and number of step is 2 and distance is 4 so in this way you can finish this project update this and save to your folder directory next we'll look into the couple of exercise which you have to practice so by using your structure wizard you assume your dimension in x and g direction and try to copy this type of project and where you will be creating this type of structures next in exercise 2 you will be creating this type of structures and with x y and z whatever dimensions you talk about and there is a ratio between x y g which you can follow from here you write down it and derive the value of a b c whatever you need and based on that you can create a structure by copying this to this and this to this and this to the top floor so that you can practice and then you create the plates so these plates after that you have to create and you have to link it so you saw the copy scenario from the bottom one to top one and a copy scenario from this to this direction and also copy scenario from this to this direction and also this member whichever you have created you can copy to this direction then you can map the copy to this direction and this copy to this direction so this type of exercise will give you the complete overview next this is also one of the kind of example which you can use it so you can create this typical structure this particular one then you can map as a copy to this right then you can map the copy to this side then particular these two members you can copy to this side and only this member you can copy to till this floor and likewise this particular sides you can copy till this and these two members you can copy till this and this single member you can copy till this so this all exercises are all about your copy instances you assume your xyz dimensions and you create this type of structure next we'll see this type of structure so what you have to do is you have to create this type of structure by assuming the dimensions and once you create this type of structure you copy in these directions based on your required steps so as stated here you have to create the curved beams so once you create the curved beams you define this connected portions and you can create your multi-story building like this one and also this is the complete frame structure which you can create this typical section and you can copy to till this then you map the copy to this three side then typically what you have to do is you copy this particular member by setting this as your corner and you position here or what you can do is in another way this particular member once you copy and positions here you can copy left side two and then next all the scenario here and once this structure is done this whole informations you can copy to the top one so different way you can use for creating this type of project where you can understand this so i will demonstrate this particular exercise because this is the final exercise so that you can understand what I mean to say
so note about exercise 5 so what you need to do is so initially you have to go for a single frames and then you go to add nodes and connect these points and you select this and understand about the height 1 meter I'll go for copy and just come to this exercise and see this the 7 instances are till this point and again 7 instances are till this top point so we have to execute this so I'll go for the y direction and I'll go for another 13 instances and the distance will be 1 meter and no link required just you go for copy and once you create this you can see this particular informations so this left side 2 and this side you have 18 informations so we'll go to the front view you close the grids carefully you select the 7 members go to copy so left side I'll be creating 2 and stepping distance will be minus 1 and you go for OK because this is minus 1 so this is created perfectly and just like that this member you select go for copy so we need total 18 so 3 we have created so 15 another we need to create and this number of spacing will be 1 meter and will be done and after that you can position this wherever you require so this particular member you can copy to this instances so directly you can do one thing so whatever the member you select you just go for a copy and this is the directions which you move that is the y directions and you can select the unit that is the 7 unit so I'll go for minus 7 then you can create the in between intermediate structures by copying it so in this way you can use for creating so directly you can refer now by selecting this members by control click you can add the right kind of informations which you are looking for you go for control C and go for control V go for the reference point I'll be referring this point and maybe I'll be placing at this point so once you place this you can directly copy and link to the other side select this go for copy and the direction will be Z and I'll need four steps and I'll link those steps as well and default spacing will be 2 meter and you go for OK so in this way this whole frame structures will be created and you can directly assess all the options which you can use thank you